Hi everybody, happy Friday. Um, good to see you all here, glad glad you're tuning in. Um, let's see here before I forget. Uh, drop any questions or comments in the, uh, in the chat or comment section and I'll get to those. And let's see if there's anything else. Oh, before I forget, I just released a new piece of music. It should be up on all the streaming services in the next couple of days, but it is definitely up on my Bandcamp. Uh, so just go to uh, go to the Bandcamp web website and type in my name, Nathan Goheen, and you can check that out if you want to. Um, and let's just jump right in to where we were kind of last week. Uh, I was having a little bit of technical difficulties, so I'm at the piano today. And just to remind everybody, the uh, the chord progression that we're working with, just two chords, it's a E minor seven, which is E, E, G, B, D, to a F major seven, which is F, A, C, E. And that's our basic, um, oops, progression, right? And last week we had worked about bringing a bass into it. Like I said though, my technology and I were not getting along and I, uh, I don't have the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the music to play for you. So I'm playing it on piano now. Um, but that's okay because this week I wanted to talk about melodies. Um, and a great place to start with melody in this, in this instance, we've already got our harmony figured out. So a great place to start would just be, let's take one of those notes and just kind of play with it. Um, I'll bring it up a register so it stands out more. So here we go. Ooh, that's a clicky E. Uh, so that's just a high E. So it's really just, I'm just starting on this E because it's a chord tone in both the E, uh, e uh, minor seven chord and the F major seven chord. And then I'm just kind of like playing around with other chord tones that may be involved. So like for, here's the E minor chord. Up to the F, down to the E, down to the C, back to the E. Now D, and then back to C, which is the fifth of F. Or we could bring it in uh, down in the octave of the uh, of the chord progression. So it's really much easier to come up with little bits of melodic ideas than than um, than you know sometimes it may seem. Uh, I think a a couple of uh, good like guide points are um, start with the chord tones. So that that was just like one that I came up with just based on the E. Let's find another one. Let's find another one right quick. <laughs> okay, cool. And it doesn't matter if it sounds like Mr. Rogers or something to you. It's just, these are just, um, It doesn't matter if it doesn't sound perfect to you the first when you're when you're like experimenting with it I would just encourage you to find find a you know find one of those chord tones and just kind of play around with it both in stepwise motion And then 
you can make some jumps too. And then just combine those, you know? Combine the steps and the jumps. Um, and the last thing I kind of wanted to say is when, when we're getting our, when we're getting our melodies, um, you know, as we're carving them out, so to speak, definitely sing them. Um, and if it's too obtuse or angular or whatever for you to be singing it, um, try simplifying it. Um, cause we all love singing. Like that's a, that's a human thing. So the more singable your melody is, the more memorable it is, the, the more catchy it is, you know, that's, that's, that's not a bad thing. Um, so sing, 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 um, sing those melodies and, um, you know, it, it doesn't have to be amazing and it doesn't matter if you're the only person that hears yourself singing them, but just sing them and be like, is that really what I'm hearing? Is that really the most efficient use of a note, you may find that you don't need three extra notes. You may find that one note will do the trick instead of three. Um, so I hope that was helpful. I think I'm going to leave it at that. And as always, if anybody wants to do some private lessons uh, with some production work or composition work or anything, music theory, um, get in touch with me. I offer 100% money back guarantee. So you got nothing to lose. And I hope you like this, and I'll see you next Friday. Yeah, next Friday at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Have a uh, great weekend. All right, see you all.